beautiful afternoon. Ah, there goes a FedEx truck. That may be. I wonder if it's in my house or not. This will be my last ride with this camera as my primary camera. I'm getting another one, which is honestly the same thing, except the Wi-Fi version. I've just been so happy with this camera as far as how it functions. The sound isn't always perfect, but I think that may just be placement of the microphone inside my helmet. And unfortunately, when you're on a budget, there's not too much you can do about that. I've had to replace my computer because that is on its last legs as far as being useful to me. When you're trying to do any kind of video editing on a machine that was basically just designed to surf the web in the first place, then you're always going to be disappointed in how it behaves. There are some things, because I'm, I'm not professionally filming or anything, I'm just having fun going out and filming my rides. than I expected. That is one thing about this Viking jacket. When I first tested it last year, it was in 60 degree weather and above. I never really needed to worry much about the lining of it. As a late spring, early summer jacket, it's fine. But I'll tell you what, not keeping the cold out. About 50 degrees, so the wind chill is probably about 40. Which isn't cold, it's just slightly chilly. Not exactly comfortable for long-term riding if you don't have appropriate protection from the cold. I'm a little bit more sensitive to that than some simply because I am an asthmatic who is prone to pneumonia and other fun things. My asthma has gotten to the point where it is actually considered COPD by my pulmonologist. I don't really know how that works exactly. I know that COPD stands for chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and from what I understand that can mean different things to different people. Now I'll tell you what my plan is here. My plan is to go up to a lot here where I saw a 2000 Corvette C5 for sale and I just wanted to look at it. I've always wanted a Corvette. I know they're really not, they're not the best car. I've wanted one and I know you shouldn't want things. Things are just things and I realize that. Call me a human being with typical human being problems. I just like the way they look. I like the way they sound. It's not practical. Every car I've ever owned has some sense of practicality to it. With motorcycles, I've always been able to excuse the fact that it's somewhat of a extravagance of sorts with the fact that it's practical. This machine is very practical. As practicality goes for getting one person from point A to point B, you can't get much better than a low displacement motorcycle or scooter. Scooters are better from the practicality perspective because they have more storage space, unless of course you have bags and such, which do cost more when you get them on a motorcycle. But to be fair, that's kind of splitting hairs. Dude ran straight through that red light. color on a car. Well concerned about the rust lines on the brake. I think it has 30 something on it. 34,861. Hey, my phone cassette stereo. That's awesome. No ill-fitting pieces. Uh, right there looks like it might have been bumped. Yeah, somebody nicked the bumper into something that doesn't match up. But it's been repaired well. I'd love to get a look under the hood. Well, the good thing is nobody came out to talk to me. I don't have to worry about spending my money. But I do like that Corvette. I like it a lot. Okay, what I'm going to do is head home. Hopefully my new camera will be there. I'll get it charged up and go off for another ride later. Alright, looks like the package came while I was out on my ride. So, let's take a look and see what's inside. Okay. I can slip upside down. <laughs> as your coverage, as customized as your eye, blah, 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 prism tube Wi-Fi. So far, it looks exactly like the one that I have already that is the regular plug-in version. And, of course, I'm ripping the box trying to take it out. That's good news on my part. Stupidity, whatever. <laughs> It looks exactly the same. Still comes with the same covers the old one came with. 
Okay, so need to figure out how the microphone plugs in and stuff. Get everything out of the box. Okay, looks like the exact same microphone that I had prior. The exact same plug, so I won't need to switch that out. And the exact same mounting bracket. So everything changes and everything stays the same. So I should be able to simply plug and play with my other one and not change out any of the components because the microphone is the same. It's exactly the same as the old one. The plug that goes into the camera is the same, exactly the same. And so is, this is a speaker, again, exactly the same. So let's get it charged up and I'll go test it out. All right, so we got everything apart here, looked through what's with it and it does have instructions for setting up. I still haven't figured out how the Wi-Fi sets up yet. We'll get to that. This one's an English quick start guide. This one is in French. I know that because of the flag. Guide de démarrage rapide. Oh, you have to do the French laugh with it. This one's Italian. I know that because of the Italian flag. Guide de referimento rapido. Let's do lunch. This one is in Spanish. I'm not sure which country's flag that is. I'm assuming Spain, but I don't know. Guia de inicio rapido. And the next one, I know what language it is because it practically shouts at you when you try to pronounce it. Kursenleitung! So that would be German. And then some other stuff. Connecting to the Prism Tube Wi-Fi. Camera's connected. I don't have any Bluetooth connected at the moment. Oh, check that out. That's pretty handy. So if I'm looking directly ahead, there's a bit of a slow-mo there, but so you can kind of see my phone here. I'm able to see on my phone screen what I'm doing up here. There's a little bit of a delay, obviously. You can see it's like happening about a half a second later. But that's enough to at least give me the ability to get it all focused and aimed. One of the problems I had with the old camera was that I couldn't get everything perfect. And now I can make sure that I'm not like getting a great view of the side of my helmet there. That's pretty cool. And then the rest should just be recording then. Let's go for a ride. Then we'll compare the footage when everything's all said and done. I had assumed that getting video off of the camera would be a relatively easy process. I thought that it would be easier than what I currently have, but I just turn it on, connect my computer to it, and download stuff. And it doesn't work that way. In order to get it onto your computer, you still have to hook it up by the tether, and that's fine. I would have to hook it up to charge it anyway, so I guess that makes sense. One of the issues that I've seen so far it took a little bit for it to accept the SD card and lock the SD card in place. I've noticed that with some action cams, for whatever reason. Oh, look at the white fluffy dog. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Looks like my Maggie. Yes, I love little dog. So we're going to do it slightly different route than we did earlier. I'm not going to go back and tempt myself with Corvettes anymore. I always wonder when I go past houses, I always kind of take a peek into the garage if their garage is open. Just to see if there's an old motorcycle in there. Every once in a while, I see a treasure. Never get up the nerve to go talk to the owner, so and say, hey, would you be interested in selling that old motorcycle that's in your garage? Maybe one day. That was a nice cut of the corner. Ooh, a bit of gravel there. Something unexpected. There was absolutely no difference from functionality with this. I'm using the same mount that my other one had. They didn't change the mount at all, which is great. So, 
I can still use both cams, which is wonderful. From what I can tell, it's the same product as prior. I think it's supposed to have slightly higher resolution. It seems to have the same range of view. As action cams go, it will be just fine. <laughs> I love this time of year from a visual perspective. All the dogwoods are starting to open. All the colors on the trees. And I love the daffodils coming up, tulips and so on. And the weeping cherry trees, very nice. So not a very long ride, just enough to get a little bit of film so I can compare the two. I don't expect there to be much difference. So we'll see if there's a difference in quality with the new one as far as uh, recording quality. Uh, my interest is really going to be in what the uh, sound quality difference is. It's the same microphone, but it's supposed to have better sound management and wind noise dampening and so on and so forth. Travel. Good reason not to ride on the shoulder. <laughs> Excellent reason not to ride on a shoulder. I always have liked this particular farm and the way that they keep their flowers. They always plant flowers that are really nice to view as you're driving by. Of course, their daffodils are going past a little bit. They have tulips. Uh, later in the year, the roses will be in bloom. Such a nice property. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate those of you who watch, and especially Blue Moon Rider, shout out to you. You are the only one I know who has commented on almost every one of my videos since you started watching my channel, so I thank you for that. I really do appreciate your watching. It's really nice to have somebody I know I can count on who's going to watch everything I put up. And usually have, sometimes you don't like what I post, and you post about that, and sometimes you do, and it's, it's great. I really appreciate you. So again, thanks everyone for watching. You have a great day. Be safe, be well, and be blessed. Shoot and fool out.